first and the foremost complex tissue we have in our syllabus is xylem. Xylem is alternatively known as hydrome. The alternative name of xylem is hydrome. Now, this is also considered as one of the part of the conducting systems, conductive tissues present in all the vascular plants. And here, it was first seen in pteridophytes. Xylem was first observed in pteridophytes. Now, what is the basic function of the xylem? It is useful for the conduction of water. Okay. Now, this is also in addition to conduction of water, it also helps in the mechanical strength of the body, plant body. Provides the mechanical strength. And this term xylem was first introduced by an anatomist, Negeli, in the year 1885. So, we may get a questions like, what is the alternative name of xylem? Who introduced the term xylem? Negeli gave the term xylem in the year 1885. Now, depending upon plants which have xylem tissue in them are called as vascular plants. Now, depending upon xylem uh, vascular plants and these are also called as, vascular plants are otherwise called as tracheophytes. Okay. Now, depending upon the function, uh, depending upon the origin of the cells, xylem is of two types. Those are, depending upon the origin of the xylem tissue, it is of two types. Those are primary xylem and secondary xylem right where do we get the primary xylem from we get or the origin of primary xylem is occurring from the procambium of the meristematic cells if the growth or initiation of the xylem tissue occurs from the procambium of the apical meristem then this type of xylem is called as primary xylem. And again, this primary xylem is again of two types. First one is protoxylem. Second one is metaxylem. We will talk later what is protoxylem, uh, what is metaxylem at the end. Now, another one is we said about secondary xylem. Where do we get the secondary xylem? If the xylem tissues are occurring from the lateral meristem, if the initiation of xylem tissue occurs from the lateral meristem, then that type of tissues are called as the secondary xylem. Okay. Now, there are different components. This is about types of xylem, primary xylem and uh, secondary xylem. Now, we say uh, what is protoxylem and metaxylem? As the name itself indicates, proto means first form xylem is tissue is called as protoxylem and latter formed xylem tissue is called as metaxylem. Okay. Now, there are two conditions here. Those are called as endarch and exarch condition. When we are talking with reference to protoxylem and metaxylem, we come across two words. Those are called as endarch and exarch. Now, in case of any stem, stem section cutting, stem vascular tissue organization, xylem organization, you will see endarch vascular bundles. The arrangement of xylem is endarch. What does endarch mean here? Endarch means protoxylem will be at the center and metaxylem will be towards the periphery. Okay. Now, what is exarch? In all the dicot roots, in roots uh, uh, section, you will see metaxylem in the center and protoxylem at the periphery. So, there exist two conditions uh, in case of protoxylem and metaxylem arrangement. In, uh, in case of stem sections, we see the arrangement in the form of endar condition. Endar means where the protoxylem, as I said earlier, protoxylem is the first form xylem tissue which is present towards the center and metaxylem, the latter form is xylem tissue present towards the periphery of the xylem or tissue arrangement. Now, exarch is when metaxylem is center and the protoxylem is towards the periphery. 